Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm Kristen Durand and here's a look at your FastCast digital headlines for Tuesday, August 15th. Our top story today, Matsu Borough students returned to school today for their first day back in the classroom. And unlike last year, every bus route was covered. Last August, the district announced it was going to be facing rolling cancellations of bus routes after Durham School Services said it didn't have enough drivers to run all routes in core areas. At the end of January, the district faced another hurdle when bus drivers walked off the job in protest against Durham School Services. This impacted transportation to schools for weeks and the district said it noticed a drop in attendance. A new contract agreement was reached in March and Durham School Services is expected to run at full service this year. We're very hopeful. We've been told that we have enough drivers um, from our, our main carrier, Durham. Um, they haven't reported back yet, so we're crossing our fingers and making, you know, really hopeful that everything will just start off smoothly next year. <laughs> And here's a reminder on what days this week schools open for instruction. Today is the first day, not just for students in the Matsu Borough, but also the Kenai Peninsula and Juneau. Students in Anchorage will return to classes later in the week on Thursday, August 17th. We'll be live in Anchorage Thursday morning for the morning edition, bringing all of that first day excitement. I try to visit as many schools as I can, and of course with 48 schools, I'm not going to get to all of them on the first day. Um, but it's fun to be there and feel the energy of just the excitement that everybody has coming back to school. And U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg is in Alaska on a three-day tour highlighting projects in her state that will benefit from more than $5, million, uh, $5 billion in federal inf investments to state infrastructure made possible by the Biden administration's bipartisan infrastructure law. The goal is for him to learn about what Alaska needs when it comes to transportation, including in rural and tribal areas. Yesterday, he joined Senator Dan Sullivan in Kotzebue. Today, he's in Anchorage. Then on Wednesday, he plans to join join Senator Lisa Murkowski in Haines. And updates to all of these stories and more can be found right here on alaskasnewsource.com. Have a great day and thanks for watching.